If I asked you to picture a sandfish, what would you imagine? A fish with fins for paddling through golden beaches? Or maybe something entirely different? Well, the truth is, sandfish isn't just one creature. It's a name given to a bunch of fascinating animals, all masters of the sand in their own unique ways. Let's start in the baking heat of the Sahara Desert. Here, the sandfish skink reigns supreme. Imagine a lizard so perfectly adapted, it literally swims through sand. Streamlined body, wedge-shaped snout, and scales as shiny as polished pebbles, this little reptile can vanish beneath the surface in a blink, wriggling along like a living submarine. Its limbs are short and sturdy, and its fringed feet act like paddles, letting it move with a weirdly graceful wave-like motion. It spends most of its life hidden just below the surface, where the sand stays cool. The skink comes out in the heat of the day to hunt insects, but if danger strikes, it dives straight into the sand, escaping predators and the burning sun in one go. Nature's own sand diver. But the name sandfish isn't just for lizards. Head to the Northern Pacific, and you'll find a completely different bunch of sand specialists. The Pacific sandfish and the Japanese sandfish are small, silvery fish found in chilly northern waters. They're often buried in sand or mud, lying in wait for prey or hiding from bigger fish. Then there's the beaked sandfish of the Indo-Pacific, long, thin, and quick to burrow, with a pointy snout perfect for plunging into the seabed. Even the belted sandfish, striped and tiny, uses sandy shores as both home and hiding place. Not related in the slightest to our desert friend, but united by their love of the sand. And now, for something a bit squishier, the sandfish sea cucumber. I know what you're thinking, they're not much to look at. Oval, arched, and sometimes as dark as the mud they live in. But these creatures are the cleanup crew of the ocean. Found in shallow Indo-Pacific waters, especially around seagrass beds and mangroves, sandfish sea cucumbers swallow up sand and digest all the organic matter, keeping their ecosystem healthy. Unfortunately, they're so valuable for food and medicine that they're now endangered, threatened by overfishing and habitat loss. Thankfully, scientists are working hard to restore their numbers with aquaculture, giving them a fighting chance. So next time you hear sandfish, remember it could be a lizard, a fish, or even a sea cucumber. What connects them isn't their family tree, but their extraordinary ability to thrive where the rest of us see just endless sand. That's the magic of adaptation. And one more reason to protect these incredible creatures and the habitats they call home.